hello guys welcome and welcome again to my channel i'm daddy tochiwalo for those that are just joining us i welcome you to this small family but that's getting there <laughs> i am thankful for those that have subscribed and those that are considering to subscribe please guys subscribe to this channel so that you get some notifications whenever we post some more videos basically most of the times i do cooking but like i said when i was opening this channel that it is not about cooking only it is about a lot of things we are going to travel if we happen to travel but right now traveling is being restricted you know how it is so today i am basically not cooking today i want to like you saw on the title my <laughs> husband's ex helped me start a business it's very rare and i know a lot of people a lot of you are asking yourself questions like how like she's in contact with her husband ex yes see <laughs> apparently Melvin's ex-girlfriend um is friends with me good friends like great friends right <laughs> and she helped me open up my first business like if i ever consider myself um somebody who does business she is the mastermind behind it the master planner behind it and i am not even ashamed to say it. i think sometimes when women come together leave all the differences behind you women can do great things so this is a, a perfect probably example of me and her it is a gamble i don't want to make it a point that this is what you must do it's up to you to be friends with those people it's up to you not to be friends with people situations differ let me tell you how it all went about there was a time i was thinking i wanted to have a wedding shop that i can be selling some wedding dresses but i didn't know how to start and then we were talking with melvin right and melvin said but do you know that my ex-girlfriend has a shop i'm like okay tell me about it he's like i don't really know much about it i just see her on facebook posting about it i said what's her name i want to know her like i want to talk to her he didn't he didn't fight about it he said okay i sent her a, a friendship request <laughs> and she and she got it i don't know I've, never really had a conversation with her to ask her if she knew who i was right i'll make it a point to ask her so we became friends I, I i said hi how are you and she replied and i told her who i was and she started calling me oh lady how are you doing I'm like i'm good and i didn't waste time i told her this is what i wanted to do I, like i noticed you are doing the same thing how do you do it and she didn't even hesitate she didn't take time she was already there telling me how to run this thing telling me where to get this thing telling me how this thing works and i'm like okay so you buy these dresses in china but i am not in china and she said i am in china i'm like okay and if you want these things i can help you i know where to get them because i get mine too i know how to send them over to malawi i can do it for you i'm like okay so she, she apparently she also does that to other people like uh in business why she is a business person phenomenal business person this is her job she does this with other people and now i am in there but now she's welcoming me so much that she she is willing to do this thing for free like just send me the money i'll do the work no problem i'm like <laughs> okay to cut the story short we start the processing of buying these things so the time difference to start with is too much but i am on the phone with her as she's going to the market here where i am it's in the night so i spend the whole night not sleeping just because i have to accommodate her and i have to tell her what i want but she's filming like the dresses oh there's this one oh there's that one and then we realize that in the process there's so much things that i know and there are also other things that she knows and now because we're working together on this thing she's learning from me and i am also learning from her now i am telling her you get me white dresses i don't want cream dresses and she says oh you know in my shop i've, I've always bought uh the the cream dresses because here a lot of shops sell cream dresses and now i introduce her to this new concept of having white wedding dresses just because in malawi a lot of people love those white wedding dresses 
so now that's one point she's learned from me and now we we talk about styling and all in so doing we are now getting connected and we are getting to be close friends and now it shifts from getting the dresses to something personal and you know we are all interacting her husband my husband me and her when i tell people like okay she is my friend everybody's like like how do you do this why are you doing this like how can you trust her okay and when i was telling her today that i was gonna do this she's like and and don't forget to tell the people that you know i am coming over there in your house and i'm gonna i'm gonna start where i stopped with my boyfriend and we just laugh about it those are the things that sometimes happens when women put all the differences aside and they go towards one goal in the process like after buying the, the dresses and everything i now she now helps me to open the shop this is how we set up this is how we do this and i opened this beautiful shop and every single item in that shop is because of her she's bought those things for me. of course i've paid the money right but she's bought those things for me sent them over clear them for me and then she transfer them to my uh, city in my shop like how amazing is that and this person doesn't even ask me for one penny and, and you know when there are two girls doing things together and sometimes you end up misquoting each other or you end up okay i don't want you to do that i didn't say this i didn't say that you know there's those kind of uh, episodes with us but we always sort our conflict right there right there and you cannot say that when you have a friend you don't fight sometimes we do fight but when you're all focusing on one goal when you're all focusing on something great you end up forgetting about these things mature being mature is one great thing when you're doing a uh, business and when you're interacting with other people who are doing business when i started my uh business she gave me an idea she says what if you end up opening a, a, a salute i'm like mm, okay but I, I i don't know much about hair I, I don't do hair and she says no i'll help you let's do this you need to open a salon and as always she goes she does the shopping she knows what's needed in the salon i am completely blank on this right she goes and opens the salon gets all the items some of them that i just see and now i'm getting to know them some some of them that i don't even know and she makes all the budget and this is the money that we need let's do this let's go here let's get that let's get that and the salon is also running so i thought it is important to share this kind of uh, of things to other women or to other people it, it, even guys you can be uh, friends with other people that you never thought oh the world or the society doesn't allow you or doesn't expect you to be friends with it is okay and you can work a project with such people it is okay but i have to say that what what worked for me doesn't mean that it worked for you so sometimes you have to balance and to see this type of person that you're dealing with this type of person that you want to work with uh, maybe their character for me i didn't even have the chance to know their character i never even had the chance to know what they've been doing because it had been a long time when these two did it right i wasn't there i wasn't in the picture i don't know this person but i just had so much faith and so much trust that this thing probably it's going to work this person is going to direct me into the right path it happened that way that today if i say i have a saloon i have a, a a wedding dress shop she is the person behind that project so this is just an encouragement that sometimes you can you guys you can try to do something with people that you do not know yes i know that right now it is very hard to trust somebody right very very hard to trust somebody you can't even trust those people that are your friends you really cannot trust them but then how do i go ahead and trust somebody that probably in the end have an interest with my husband because these people started somewhere they, they were once an item and then how do i do it sometimes just have that faith if you think this thing is, is not going to the direction towards the direction that you thought it would go then back off there are so many people that are doing something you know sometimes i listen to stories that maybe people who are friends those that are, are doing cross-border business right they go order stuff somewhere but 
this person that they're going with knows a lot about, about that place and when they get there this person is just like this running away from them doesn't want to introduce this doesn't want to show them where to get that you know and yet these people are friends but they don't want to see you um getting somewhere or doing good they think you're going to do better than them so when you look at, uh, at, at these things it's all about maybe just the faith that okay maybe i'm gonna start this and it will go towards my direction so if you have that so much faith and so much trust and you're available with that person you know this thing went two way and i shouldn't just be there that okay she's buying the dresses for me it's okay i trust her she's gonna do these things for me and i'm not available guys this person even if she's willing to help me she will look at me and say what so you want me to be working for you i go to the market and buy these things of course you have provided the money but you want me to go there get the things for you ship them for you and you're not even available but you're just sitting down there and saying ah she's gonna do it those things will be shipped to malawi i'll find them uh -uh. guys no it doesn't work like that it has to be a two-way thing you know when she's going there to buy i am available i am helping i am even if it means it's on the phone right nowadays all these video calling vns exchanging messages exchanging photos you know you're there and you're available she is doing it and you're, she, you you must be wholeheartedly available to show her that i am with you you know she goes to shipping you're there uh you're maybe following up how, how sh uh, shipping is going and you are there you're telling her this is how it is like look at I've displayed them in my shop I have done this this person oh today we had so much sales you know that person appreciates their uh, their effort they've done for you you're showing them that you appreciate you're showing that you trust them with your money you trust them with your business you trust them that they will do the right thing and you're also showing them that as much as you're helping me doing this come your turn I will do the same you know so this is how uh, I have uh, done business with uh, my husband's ex <laughs> all right so um, next time when I come with um, another video I will tell you how it has been possible for me to run this business remotely I am not there where this shop is but it's been a success it's been running without me with people that I never met, how do I get along with the, that person? What is the relationship like? How do I run this business? There are a lot of you guys who are willing to do business back home, but you just don't know how to go about it. So in the next video, I'll make sure we talk about that. Probably we can teach each other one or two things. I'll also put a link of my lady's company that does the shipping from China to Malawi. All right? So you guys, until next time, you've been with me and I am grateful that you people are always watching my videos. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you comment and make sure you tell uh, other people to come on my channel. Until next time, um, it's been a pleasure having you and see you in the next video, guys. Bye.